I want to look at four quick examples from chapter 7 of organic chemistry. Um, so the first one here, we've got an alkene, and it's reacting with a peroxy acid followed by H3O+. Now, we're not going to work through the mechanisms here. You can look at your textbook or some of the TRQs to help you with the mechanisms, um, or go back and refresh your memory on the lecture notes. But let's just say we forget what happens in this. We can use our reaction map to help us uh, remember what is happening with each of these reactions. So we're starting with an alkene, and then if we find that we've got, we're adding, <clears throat> uh, reacting this with a, a peroxy acid, we get syn addition to form an epoxide, followed by making the epoxide, we uh, react this with an acid, an aqueous acid, and we get a transdiol. So we should end up with a product that is a transdiol after working through both of those steps. So let's just write, draw the product here. So a transdiol is going to put an alcohol on both of the, this carbon and that carbon, but they're going to be um, opposite. Uh, one of them is going to go into the plane of the paper, and the other is going to go out of the plane of the paper. So if I go ahead and put that methyl group into the background, then one of these alcohols is going to come out in the foreground and the other alcohol is going to have to be in the background. So this one will be in the background. <clears throat> Remember the reason for this is because uh, the peroxy acid reacts to form the epoxide so then in the next big step in this mechanism, when you add the aqueous acid, it has to add from the back side of the epoxide. So that second hydroxyl group um, gets added on the back side to give us the anti-addition. In this next problem, we've got, again, an alkene, and it's reacting with osmium tetroxide and then uh, bisulfite and water. So this is going to give me syn addition of uh, to form a, a diol. So remember, um, this is this reaction right here, starting with an alkene. We're reacting with osmium tetroxide, followed by sodium bisulfite and water to give us a cis diol. So a cis diol puts both alcohols on the same side of the double bond. So if I go ahead and draw out this molecule, we're going to put um, this methyl group in the background, so we're adding to the top of the double bond. So we're uh, adding both hydroxyl groups coming down from the top. So then I'm going to put both of those hydroxyl groups coming off of the same side of the ring because we get syn addition. Remember the osmium tetroxide gives us a five-membered ring which adds both oxygens on one side of the double bond and then in the second step we get rid of the osmium and we convert these into um, alcohols. Let's look at two more questions. In this one, we're reacting an alkene with uh, deuterium over a palladium catalyst. And remember, deuterium is just a uh, it's just hydrogen, but it's an isotope of hydrogen. So when we react hydrogen over a palladium catalyst, we get syn addition to the double bond. So if I go ahead and draw out my carbon backbone, So if I put this ethyl group in the background, then I'm going to put the deuterium in the foreground. I'm going to go ahead and put that 
uh, in blue, so we're going to make the deuterium blue. So I'm going to put one deuterium here and one deuterium there. So there's, in addition to these deuteriums that we just added, there is still a hydrogen on that carbon and it is in the background. So I'm going to add deuterium to one side of the double bond. In this case I chose the top side of the double bond. In this fourth and final example we're given a product and we're asked what is the reactant, what alkene reacted to give me this product. Now notice that this is an alcohol so this carbon and this and the hydroboration reaction if we don't remember we can go look on our uh, reaction map and we've got alcohols here and we can make alcohols with this path right here this is the one that's prescribed um, the hydroboration which it gives us non Markovnikov syn addition so if it's non Markovnikov that means that this carbon right here was the less substituted carbon and it was part of the double bond so this one was part of the double bond and it was double bonded to an adjacent carbon in this case that adjacent carbon there's only one option but if there were more than one option I would want to choose the option where the one that this carbon is double bonded to has more substituents than this carbon. So let's draw the carbon backbone. With the double bond. So notice that um, with this hydroboration reaction, I'm going to add the uh, oxygen, the OH, to this carbon and I'm going to add the hydrogen to this carbon which gives me the product. So this is the alkene that reacted to give me this product.